Welcome back, folks, to this game that we are familiar with with the intro screen. Yes, we are going back to Castlevania, the Anniversary Collection. Why? Because I said I'm going to play the sequel immediately after beating the Castlevania Adventures. So yes, we did, in fact, beat the Castlevania Adventure. Now we're going to do Castlevania 2 Belmont's Revenge. Let's read the plot. In the first Castlevania adventure, the fearless vampire hunter Christopher Belmont fought toe-to-toe -to -toe and wing-to-wing -wing against the vampire king Count Dracula. Belmont defeated the Count and destroyed his castle, but unfortunately Dracula used what remained of his magical powers to transform his body into mist, thereby making good his escape. However, his powers were so depleted that he was left unable to transform back into human form. The Count decided to wait and rebuild his dark forces. Deep inside his black heart, he swore revenge on Christopher Belmont and his family. Fifteen years later, a ceremony was held in town of Transylvania. The son of Christopher Belmont, Solheil Belmont, had come of age, and it was time for the title of Vampire Hunter to be passed down to him. The ceremony, uh, the ceremony was to commemorate this occasion. All the citizens of Transylvania rejoiced, hoping that the father-son team of vampire hunters would bring peace to the region forever. But in the morning after that ceremony, it was discovered that Solheil Belmont had vanished into thin air. The ceremony was the chance Dracula had waited for. Solheil... Soleil received great sacred power in the ceremony to mark his adulthood, and Dracula used the last bit of magic to turn Soleil's powers against him, transforming him into a terrible demon. Then, aided by Soleil, Dracula was able to assume human form once again. That evening, to the northeast of the village, the earth shook a thunderous roar, and four minutes castles appeared, and hidden at the lake of the, these castles was another castle, the new lair of Dracula. Horrified to learn that his son had been altered by the forces of evil, Christopher Belmont de determined to save Soleil and break the ambitions of the Count. He journeyed to the new castles, and each ruled by a different power of darkness placed by the Soleil demon to s stop anyone who could tamper with the mystic spell Dracula had cast upon him. Nevertheless, in order to save the village of Transylvania and free his son, Christopher had no choice but to fight once again. And that was one of the fastest bit of reading I had to do, because, yeah... <laughs> Even though it was going slow, you have to read it pretty fast. Oof, time to take a breather. But yes, we are going to play Castlevania 2, Belmont's Revenge. Dracula, you messed with the wrong Belmont. Even though you've messed with dozens of Belmonts, but that doesn't matter. Oh yes, and we altered the background. Sorry, I transitioned to change the background. You didn't need me to do that. So you have four stages to select. You have... One of them's a rock castle, one of them's a cloud castle, one of them's plants, and we are going to start at the crystal castle. So without further ado, Christopher, it's time to go on an adventure once again to stop Dracula and save your son. If your son don't die, if your son isn't dead, that is. Same buttons as always um, in compared to the previous game. You do upgrade your whip, and this time, um, at least when you get hit once, you don't lose your um, upgrade. So that's a positive. Ah, bird! Right, need to attack that bird. Or get hit by the bird. There we go. Oh yes, and what's new in this game, you must be asking? Well, as you can see, there's hearts at the bottom. Hearts were health in the previous game. Oh, and we got a side weapon back. You see what I was complaining about with no side weapons? Yep. It's back. Finally, it should never have been removed in the first place. Oh, and yes, you can slide down faster by holding down and... Um, Jump, the jump button. Either way, there's a lot of improvements in this game. And I'm already liking it. Side weapons, check. Um, hearts to um, give you supply of ammo for your um, weapon, check. Holy water, check. Um, the only negative thing I can say about this game now is... You know how the old game actually had health when you're dying? Oh, no, 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 this game, <laughs> this game said, yeah, we replaced the hearts with actual thing for your projectile. So, you get no health in this, le in this game. I kid you not, I don't think you get any sort of health in this game. I think, I'm not sure if you can whip the walls, but I don't think you can whip anywhere to get any sort of meat. So, yeah, you're going to have to prepare yourself for a challenge, because... Once you get hit, if you have one health left, and you are at the boss, you're going to have to fight with one health. I kid you not, you literally have to fight with one health. So yeah, be careful. So yeah, this has given you a new approach to try and beat this game. Whether you like it or not, it's up to you. But it does spice up the challenge, even though it 
see, that's the thing. It sacrificed health in the first game to give you a sub weapon. That's mean. Very mean, may I add. But looks like challenge accepted on my end, anyway. Alright, let's slide down by. Wee! Yeah, just quickly slide down. There we go. Grab the heart. Slide. There we go, and jump. Yep, you don't get poked by the spikes because that takes at least um, a quarter of your health, actually, if you get poked by the spikes. So, yeah, you're going to have to be a bit careful. So, wait for it to go backwards. There we go. Now slide down. Jump and attack this guy. Might as well attack this guy. Wait for it to do that again. Sli oh! See what I mean? And I jumped into that. I did not mean to jump into that, but that was stupid. See, it took a quarter of my health. So, yeah, I'm in pretty much... Oh! I'm in pretty much big danger already because... Yeah, um, the next part will be me fighting um, the boss in no matter how much health I have. Oh yeah, and there is pathways um, in this level anyway. I believe in this level, if you take the wrong path, it's just going to take you the long way around and you're just going to have to try and fight your way through, which is not recommended. I will take the right path so that I don't get um, much trouble. So yeah, destroy these eye eyeballs, which are return making this return. Rolling Boulder Eyeballs. Dracula really loves his eyeballs. Right, so, yeah. Um, this is the path. Um, you have to go up. If you go down, yeah, that's the wrong way. So, go up. Going down is your big mistake. Because that enemy that you saw there, very strong. It takes a lot of your health. And you want to go up, because this is the way to the boss. So, yeah, just take up. If you go down, you're a brave bugger. That's all I can say to you. That's the only thing I can say to you. If you go up, you are one brave SOB. But, um, if you go this way, you're a clever SOB. There isn't no you're a stupid idiot or none of that. But just follow my advice, or else you're going to die. Unless you're a Castlevania pro, which I'm definitely not, um, you would take my tactics. Oop, almost died there. Throw that axe. Whoops. Throw that axe. Dead. Excellent. Right, so yeah. Um, depending on the stages, I might choose my routes differently. You don't have to do any... You, you can beat them uh, any way you want, really. Let's throw this um, axe to see where it is. Oh, it's just one heart, so I just basically lost no heart. Right, let's throw our whip. Kill this thing. And then we're going to kill you. When you're ready to bugger off, that is. There we go. You are dead. Goodbye. Don't come back. It's a good thing you aren't coming back. Now we're going to go through that door, because going down is a mistake. Going through this door means you're, very, you're one step closer to the boss. And we want to go change the music, you see? Oh my god, this, this is a vibe. <laughs> this music's a vibe, actually. Wow. Sorry, I'm just doing a little bit of a dance while I'm waiting for the platform. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just focusing on them um, be beating the game, actually. Well, not yet, anyway. Um, ah, so there's the orb. First boss fight. A cloud. Oh, it's a mage? Uh-oh. All right, let's just go over here. Ah, that's a clever way to avoid it. Hi, how you doing? Okay, that was, ter okay, that was terrible. Ow, that wasn't nice. Okay, now let's throw it. Throw it again. Okay, so we have to wait for it to be crystal form, that boss to be crystal form, so that you can actually throw your axes and make it super effective. Otherwise, it won't take too much damage. And your best bet is to do the strategy I'm doing to avoid anything, really. So when the thunder comes, just make a jump, even though it won't reach you, to be honest with you. Which is kind of neat. Okay, can you stop spawning next to me, please? I'd appreciate if you don't. Right, throw it. See, now we're uh, equal on health. See, this boss fight's rather easy, so... Yeah. Uh, you'll be fine if you have the axes. I'm, I'm not sure if you're whip... I'm, I'm not sure if it takes damage if you whip his head. Likely it will, but I'm just going to throw my sub-weapon at him. Oh, yeah, it does. Cool. Okay. I might use my whip then. But, hey, i got a lot of things, and... You are gone. Explosion. The victory dance. That's one of the orbs collected. 
All right. Good job. Or as Hancock would do, good job. I think we get extra life for 20,000 points. We do. Good stuff. All right, so such is a good start. Thank you for the health. You do get health extension, but that's the only health upgrade you'll get. It's just health extension. But yeah, what level are we going to do next? I don't know. You'll just have to tune into the next video because we've got three more, well, four more levels left because um, we're still going to have to go to Dracula's Castle after we beat the other three levels. I suppose we'll do the plant level next, which is on the left side. But yeah, I'll see you guys on Friday for another episode of Castlevania 2 Belmont's Revenge, Samurai Texas, signing out. Until next time, guys, goodbye.